mean, has anything been more embarrassing than the de-evolution of Ben Simmons? I mean, and last night, like, every time Shaq tried to defend Ben Simmons, the entire panel's like, are you kidding, Shaq? He's a, this is a disaster. Like, you can't defend him. And that's how I felt. I know you want to be kind to a player that's made all-star games. I realize there's other things that Ben Simmons does, like defense, like rebounding, like passing the ball, that you have to obviously credit him for. And last night, Trey Young is a terrible shooting day. What, 5 of 23, I think it was? So a lot of that had to do with Ben Simmons' defense, which is great. But you can't be the number one overall pick in the draft at guard and be scared to handle the basketball, which is happening now. That he is so in his head that Ben Simmons is horrified of making a mistake or missing a shot. And he's so bad at the free throw line. And last night when he passes up a layup, he makes a spin move around the defender, drives into under the basket, can just put it up off glass and decides to to pass it out. The fact that Joel Embiid last night was forced into saying that was the turning point of the game, what, with three and a half to play or something like that, tells you everything you need to know. And then Doc Rivers not being able to admit whether Ben Simmons is going to be a a point guard in a championship-driven team, again, tells you all you need to know. The best player on the team is saying, yeah, the turning point was when our point guard wouldn't shoot or our shooting guard wouldn't shoot. And then our coach is saying, yeah, we don't know if we can win a championship with that guy. Tells you all you need to know. And this is a lot on Ben Simmons because even a little bit out of Ben Simmons and the Sixers win this series. Just a little bit. So it's humiliating how bad Ben Simmons was in this series. In the game five, game six, and game seven, he was a disgrace. And the fact that the Sixers had back-to-back number one overall picks. And they weren't Joel Embiid, by the way. And they were both mentally broken in Ben Simmons and Markel Fultz is remarkable. That somehow they they chose the two guys at the top of the draft that were both mentally broken. On top of that, Doc Rivers, as good of a coach as he is, he has two NBA Finals appearances, he has a championship with the 08 Celtics. As good as he has been consistently in the playoffs, he has now two 3-1 series busts and a loss at home to a five seed in a game seven when you're the one seed in the same series you blew a 26 point lead at home you can't ignore that Mraz. you can't ignore it doc is a great guy doc has a lot of wins under his belt doc is one of the better coaches of this league but in terms of collapses or embarrassing playoff losses i mean doc has more in the nba than any other current head coach